Hello today's video we have the following content. Bruce Lee's wife told a secret in her later years, admitting that her husband was most afraid of a kind of opponent, but it was rare. Please use your golden finger to make money, like and go, and become rich forever. Click to follow and like, it's hard not to become rich. In the 1970s, Bruce Lee's name was almost known to everyone. This kung fu superstar conquered audiences around the world with his amazing martial arts and unique screen charm. However, what is little known is that this seemingly fearless martial arts master also has his own fears deep in his heart. Years later, Bruce Lee's wife Linda Emma revealed an unexpected secret, her husband was most afraid of not those burly fighters or highly skilled martial arts masters, but a group of people he called martial arts idiots. This unexpected confession makes us curious, what kind of opponent can make this kung fu king feel awe? Let us unveil the veil of this mystery together and explore the little-known side behind Bruce Lee's legendary life. Bruce Lee's martial arts journey began in Hong Kong, the Oriental Pearl. When he was young, he became a disciple of Wing Chun master Ip Man and started his martial arts career. Whenever Bruce Lee practiced martial arts, his bright eyes always flashed with infinite love for martial arts. Under Ip Man's careful guidance, Bruce Lee's martial arts skills improved day by day laying a solid foundation for his future achievements. With the dream of promoting Chinese martial arts, Bruce Lee resolutely decided to travel across the ocean and set foot on the unfamiliar land of the United States. In a foreign country, Bruce Lee not only had to face the impact of cultural differences, but also had to overcome deep-rooted racial prejudice. However, these difficulties did not defeat him, but instead inspired him to fight more strongly. In the United States, Bruce Lee founded the Genfin Martial Arts School. At first, he could only rent a small area in the corner of the school parking lot as a training venue. Despite the difficult conditions, Bruce Lee still taught martial arts tirelessly. His enthusiasm and talent soon attracted a group of followers, and the reputation of the Genfin Martial Arts School gradually spread. As time went on, Bruce Lee began to get involved in the film and television industry. Although Hong Kong movies were in their golden age at that time, few Hong Kong actors could make their mark in Hollywood. The emergence of Bruce Lee broke this deadlock. With his unique martial arts style and extraordinary screen charm, he created an era of his own. Bruce Lee's success was not only a personal victory, but also broke the stereotype of Eastern actors in the Western film industry. He used his own strength to prove that Eastern actors can also shine on the international stage. Bruce Lee's martial arts movies brought unprecedented visual impact to the audience completely changed the face of kung fu movies, and subverted the weak image of Hong Kong movie stars on the international stage. From Hong Kong to Hollywood, Bruce Lee's martial arts journey was full of challenges and opportunities. He not only successfully promoted Chinese martial arts to the world, but also established a new image of Eastern warriors in the international film industry through his own efforts. Bruce Lee's story is a legend about dreams, persistence and breakthroughs. Bruce Lee's martial arts soon caused a sensation in the United States, and masters from all walks of life came to challenge him. These challenges were not only a test of his martial arts, but also an opportunity to prove his strength. Bruce Lee won victory after victory with his extraordinary skills and firm belief, gradually establishing his position in the martial arts world. The first important challenge came from a Japanese martial arts gym owner. At that time, other martial arts groups on campus were uneasy about Bruce Lee's rise. The Japanese gym owner challenged Bruce Lee to prove his strength. However, Bruce Lee defeated the self-esteemed gym owner in just 30 seconds with amazing speed and precise skills. This victory not only earned Bruce Lee respect, but also made his reputation spread in the martial arts circle. In the fall of 1964, Bruce Lee participated in the National Karate Championship and successfully advanced to the finals. His opponent was the reigning champion Chuck Knorr, a burly player who was prejudiced against Orientals. Chuck Knorr despised Bruce Lee and thought that this Oriental was just bluffing. However, at the beginning of the game, Bruce Lee showed amazing strength. His agility and precise strikes caught Chuck Knorr off guard. In just two rounds, Bruce Lee knocked Chuck Knorr down and won the game. The shocked expression on Chuck Knorr's face confirmed the price he paid for his arrogance. The most eye-catching match was the one in Bangkok in 1971. The top Muay Thai fighter, Char, who had won the title seven times in a row, came to challenge Bruce Lee. Muay Thai is known for its toughness, and Char's physique is much stronger than Bruce Lee. Before the match, the audience was worried about Bruce Lee. However, as soon as the match started, Bruce Lee showed amazing speed and strength. He performed a dazzling three-kick stunt, hitting Char's face, waist and temple respectively. In just 18 seconds, 
The Thai boxing champion was defeated. The audience was stunned and couldn't believe what was happening before their eyes. These victories not only proved Bruce Lee's strength, but also showed his calmness and confidence in the face of challenges. In every victory, Bruce Lee's eyes flashed with love for martial arts and affirmation of his own strength. His success is not only due to his superb martial arts, but also to his firm belief and unyielding spirit when facing strong enemies. Bruce Lee's famous battles not only made him famous in the martial arts world, but also laid the foundation for his future success in the film industry. He proved the practicality and effectiveness of Chinese martial arts with practical actions, breaking the prejudice and misunderstanding of Eastern martial arts in the West. These experiences made him gradually grow into a true martial arts master and made him deeply understand the nature and essence of martial arts. Although Bruce Lee has repeatedly won many challenges, he is in awe of a special type of opponent in his heart. This secret was revealed by his wife Linda Emmer in his later years, Bruce Lee was most afraid of martial arts idiots. This unexpected confession allows us to glimpse the complexity of the inner world of this kung fu superstar. In Bruce Lee's eyes, martial arts idiots are not derogatory terms, but a respectful title for those who have studied a certain martial arts to the pinnacle. These people are often obsessed with studying a certain martial arts and devote their entire lives to understanding its secrets. They may not be well known, but their martial arts have reached perfection. In contrast, those who dabble in multiple martial arts seem to be superficial. Bruce Lee's awe of martial arts geeks comes from his deep understanding of martial arts. He understands that the true essence of martial arts is not breadth but refinement. Those masters who focus on a single martial art can often practice it to perfection, reaching a height that ordinary people can hardly reach. In Bruce Lee's view, these martial arts geeks are like hermits in the martial arts world, and their existence represents the highest realm of martial arts. Facing such an opponent, even a martial arts master like Bruce Lee dare not easily claim victory. He knows that the understanding and mastery of a certain martial art by martial arts geeks may far exceed his own. This unknown and uncertainty is exactly why Bruce Lee is in awe. Bruce Lee's awe of martial arts geeks also reflects his persistent pursuit of martial arts to a certain extent. He hopes to study his martial arts to the extreme like these martial arts geeks. This attitude drove him to keep working hard to improve his martial arts. However, Bruce Lee also realized that becoming a martial arts fanatic requires a huge price. This requires giving up all other pursuits and devoting all his energy to martial arts research. For Bruce Lee, who has already achieved success in the film industry, this is a difficult choice. Bruce Lee's awe of the martial arts fanatic shows his respect and humility for martial arts. Although he is already a world-recognized martial arts master, he still maintains awe of martial arts. He knows that the road of martial arts is endless, and there are always people who have reached a higher level in a certain field. This attitude may be the key to his continuous progress and eventually becoming a kung fu superstar. The existence of the martial arts fanatic is both an inspiration and a warning to Bruce Lee. It reminds Bruce Lee that no matter how successful he is, there are always unknown areas waiting to be explored in the world of martial arts. This cognition allows Bruce Lee to always maintain his passion and humility for martial arts, and also makes him more cautious and serious when facing challenges. Bruce Lee's awe of the martial arts fanatic reveals the inner world of a great martial artist. It shows us that even kung fu superstars have their own concerns and awe. This awe is not a sign of cowardice, but a respect for the highest realm of martial arts, which is the character that a true martial artist should have. Bruce Lee's love and persistence for martial arts can be seen everywhere in his daily life. Even during the busy filming of movies, he never relaxes his requirements for himself. Every morning when most people are still asleep, Bruce Lee has already started his training. His eyes always flash with passion for martial arts, and every move strives for perfection. Bruce Lee's training method is unique. He not only focuses on physical training, but also incorporates philosophical thoughts into it. He created the martial arts system of Jeet Kune Do, which emphasizes practicality and flexibility. In training, he often repeats the same action over and over again until he reaches his high standards. Bruce Lee believes that only through constant repetition and tempering can martial arts movements be internalized into instinctive reactions. In addition to physical training, Bruce Lee also attaches great importance to the study of martial arts theory. His study is full of various martial arts classics, and the materials he is studying are always spread out on the table. He studied the essence of traditional Chinese martial arts in depth, and also widely absorbed the advantages of other martial arts schools. Bruce Lee believed that only by combining theory with practice can one truly master the essence of martial arts. In the filming of the movie, Bruce Lee perfectly demonstrated his martial art philosophy. 
He broke the flashy performance style of most previous kung fu movies and insisted on real interpretation. Every action and every expression is the result of his years of hard practice. His movies had brought unprecedented visual impact to the audience and completely changed the face of kung fu movies. Bruce Lee's success is not only the result of talent, but also the testimony of his unremitting efforts. He used his actions to interpret the truth of one minute on stage, ten years of hard work off stage. Even after he became famous, Bruce Lee still maintained an attitude of hard work. He often said, I am not afraid of people who have practiced 10,000 times, I am afraid of people who have practiced one move 10,000 times. This sentence not only reflects his awe of martial arts fanatics, but also reflects his understanding of martial arts. It is this persistence and love for martial arts that made him a generation of kung fu superstars. Bruce Lee's way of cultivation is not only the pursuit of martial arts skills, but also the inheritance of martial arts spirit. He combined traditional Chinese martial arts with modern fighting concepts to create a unique martial arts system. This innovative spirit and unremitting efforts have left Bruce Lee with an indelible mark in the martial arts and film industries. July 20, 1973, An Ordinary Summer Day changed the history of the martial arts and film industries forever. Bruce Lee, a superstar who was shining on the world stage, suddenly passed away in Hong Kong at the age of 32. This sad news was like a bolt from the blue, shocking countless fans and colleagues in the industry around the world. Bruce Lee's departure is an irreparable loss to Chinese martial arts and even the global martial arts community. There are still many unfinished parts of his martial arts thoughts in his film works. People can't help but imagine what kind of surprises he would bring to the world if he could continue his martial arts journey. However, although Bruce Lee has left, his spirit and influence will remain forever. The new era of martial arts movies he created has completely changed the face of kung fu movies. His persistent pursuit of martial arts and his humble attitude in the face of the strong have become a model for future generations to learn from. Bruce Lee's story, especially his awe of martial arts fanatics, allows us to see the inner world of a great martial artist and also gives us a deeper understanding of martial arts. His departure is like the brightest star in the galaxy falling, but his light still illuminates the path of those who come after him. Bruce Lee's legend will always inspire people to pursue the highest realm of martial arts. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,